what you're looking at is uh, a Stirling engine, uh, a resonating uh, Stirling engine. There are diff different names for it. And uh, what happens here is there's a tube which is heated, and then uh, there's an expansion and contraction uh, of the air due to a moving piston here that you can't see right now, but I'll start the movie in a second. And, uh, and the piston uh, drives the rod, which you see go on here, into uh, a coil that, of course, uh, with a magnet on it. So that, that uh, creates electric power, and, uh, and there you have uh, uh, an electric power generator based on uh, heating, uh, uh, hot, hot air or some type of heating source. And it sounds a little bit like this. So the gas is burning here, it's heating this end, and the whole cycle is uh, something that you can look up uh, of course on uh, YouTube and Google. But this is a very useful machine, and uh, it has been around, it has been invented in 1976 or 71 already. The whole invention of the Stirling engine, which is uh, an engine that doesn't use uh, fuel and burns it inside, but uses heat from outside uh, to, uh, to, put, uh, to create a work. Uh, is, uh, is 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 from the from the 1861 or something like that. Well, this idea, of course, is very interesting to people that work on the solar energy, that want to create uh, solar power sources. And it's very frustrating to me to see uh, that uh, the the let's say the commercialization of this type of engine is delayed and delayed and delayed. And I can just lose sh show you here. Here's a very fancy looking company telling you that they're going to change the world uh, tomorrow and uh, I guess they're going to do that and they say okay we have a uh, uh, technology is called uh, free piston uh, machines because you saw uh, something maybe you didn't see it but you saw something moving around uh, and uh, let's say okay here's an animation basically what what you have is a, is a closed chamber with uh, a piston moving just like you saw uh, just now in the glass uh, and uh, the moving piston is integrated with uh, a coil on this side which generates electricity and it's just a fantastic uh, invention and the only thing you have to do is, uh, is create a source of heat on one side of the machine and then that heat will dissipate through the mechanism through the work in the machine and create electrical, uh, electrical uh, energy so they got uh, technology and they got product opportunities and, uh, and uh, I guess the first application you see of this technology is in combined heat and uh, electricity uh, and warm water uh, uh, units that you can place in your home. Of course, this is sponsored by energy companies because this is a technology that's basically it's it's a disruptive technology. Uh, and I can show you that. Uh, uh, there's a, but first, there's another company here. It's called SunPower. And they take the whole idea of using uh, uh, using uh, this uh, this uh, Stirling engine, and uh, they even have a couple of them, as you see here, with uh, the, uh, the the hot part and the cold part. And let's see if I can uh, cry open. And they use it as a cooling uh, cooling machine. So they, of course, if you put electricity in it uh, and you drive the generator as a motor, then you start cooling. And they take the cooling uh, the cooling approach. Of course, uh, they should not do that. They should take the other one, uh, the, the the heating approach. And of course, they are called Sun Power, but nevertheless, they're a, a cryogenic uh, company. They're focusing on that for some reason. And then here you have another cooling approach uh, company. It's called uh, Global Cooling. They have exactly the same uh, product. Uh, looks a little bit different, but it's oh here's products. Here it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, you have the same you see there's the, the the narrow part and the wide part and uh, and of course this is also a cryogenic unit uh, a cooling unit but uh, just like you can use it if you put electricity into it you can use it to cool you can get electricity out of it if you uh, add, add heat to to the whole thing that's the that's the that's a Stirling engine is basically uh, an engine that that, that uh, places uh, or dissipates heat. Uh, and uh, in, in that process uh, 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 creates work. Now a common, uh, common quality of these three uh, companies is that they're full of money. You know they have so much money here. Investors, please invest in us and then let's see if we can have uh, some news. Uh, commercial technological partnership with the US Department of Energy. 
and they have millions and millions and millions is flowing into these companies but for some reason they're not selling anything so if you ask them to sell uh, uh, one of these units to you if you ask this company to sell you one of the units they don't have it they're not making them and that's because they're basically focused on uh, on uh, on the investor side of the whole thing it's just like when you have speculation in the oil market or in the in the grain or in, the, in other, any other commodity markets you have speculation in the invention market and this is a very uh, uh, efficient technology and I can demonstrate that here you have uh, a schematic drawing of the whole unit again because uh, sunpower.com uh, they do uh, well they do uh, hand out the information uh, they tell you they're going to make it in 2012 or something and here you see a power graph and it's, it says that it has an efficiency of about 36% which is high I think for uh, you know if you compare it to sonal, solar uh, photovoltaic panels you get only 15% and this uh, company creates 36% and of course uh, uh, here a power engine 5, uh, five kilowatts and there have been uh, uh, patents and, 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 uh, and projects for creating 7, 15, 20 uh, kilowatt units uh, with this technology uh, for years now and they all have not uh, really materialized and that's uh, I think uh, just one of the examples where you see a technology that is really not being used and the reason is because the only thing you need for this thing to make power is, uh, is, is uh, concentrated heat and it's very easy to concentrate heat because you have a sun uh, in the sky and if you have a, like a, a desert place then you can uh, concentrate heat and you can do that very cheaply I'm working on that myself and I'm very frustrated about this because I want to see this product be available to everybody especially in the, in the sunny places of the world uh, and it has to be mass produced and it doesn't have to be super high tech because as you have seen in this um, this is a guy fiddling with some, uh, for some glass and he can at least uh, uh, shine his LED lights uh, well uh, suppose you have a battery and you let this run with some sunlight uh, the whole day and you're out of an, in Africa then I guess you're seeing materials here uh, at a total cost of about 30 bucks or something maybe less maybe it's waste and, uh, and you have light in your in your house for free uh, uh, and uh, at all times uh, so if you know anybody that makes actually sells one of these units or sells a similar unit then it would be uh, very interesting to me it would also be very surprising to me uh, because uh, what you see if you look a little bit into the activities of these companies is that they basically buy uh, lots of patents and lots of uh, and they and they uh, and they take over companies that uh, that that make um, that make sterling engines I don't trust this. I think it's a delayed, uh, delayed release of uh, technology and it's detrimental to everybody. So uh, if you have some information on this, uh, please let me know.